It's Monday, October 31st. Happy Halloween. And before the day's sugar high kicks in, it's time to focus on tech news and stories about companies spending nearly unfathomable amounts of money to buy other tech companies. Hot on the heels of the AT&T Time Warner mega merger comes news that ISP CenturyLink is buying up Level 3, a broadband and internet infrastructure company, for $34 billion in stock. Level who? Exactly. Level 3 may not have the high profile of Time Warner or other big tech firms, but they're a huge international player when it comes to building out expansive internet infrastructure with optical fiber and networking systems. Heck, you might even be using their systems right now to watch this video. Anyway, the merger is expected to greatly expand CenturyLink's data and internet businesses, which they'll need to battle the AT&T and Time Warner juggernaut. Speaking of mergers and such, Apple's new TV app is generating rumors it may be looking to reel in a major content provider to expand its content pool. And top of the rumor list, Netflix. According to Business Insider, both Netflix and Amazon's Instant Video will be absent from the new app. And without those two streaming icons on board, the Apple TV app doesn't seem much more attractive than any other streaming service. But if Apple were to buy Netflix, suddenly they're a major player. But could it happen? Netflix CEO Reed Hastings is not likely to be an easy sell, but Apple CEO Tim Cook is also sitting on about a bazillion, okay, $230 billion in cash. What's Hastings' price if he has one? Cook said he wants to make the TV app a unified experience for users, and without Big Red, that goal will remain out of reach. Again, it's all rumors and speculation right now, but with streaming shaping up to be the way we watch TV going forward, don't be surprised if Tim Cook's wallet suddenly comes into play. More Apple rumor mongering now, except this time the rumors are coming from a pretty well-placed source. BGR reports that Zhang Wutai, who is the CEO of Sharp and is also an executive at Apple gadget maker Foxconn, told reporters that the iPhone 8 will have an OLED screen, something that's been rumored for a while now. Also, with iPhone sales numbers starting to slide south, the OLED upgrade may arrive next year and not in 2018 as previously rumored. Will the phone have a complete top-to-bottom screen as seen in this popular render? Wu Tai didn't say, but seeing as how other phone makers are bringing just that kind of form factor to market now, we'd have to say at this point, anything is possible. Get more details about this latest rumor at the link below. We've got the rest of the day's tech news at digitaltrends.com. Have a great Halloween, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.